Every one of us would have inflated bicycle tire at least once in our lifetime. But have you ever thought why the air inside bicycle tire doesn't come outside? Come on, in this video, let's learn how bicycle tire works and how it prevents air inside the bicycle tire from leaking or coming outside the tire. First, let's take bicycle tyres separately. In every tyre, there will be a valve. This valve serves the purpose of inflating the tyre using pump as well as a barrier for air inside the tyre. To say in a simple line, the valve present in the bicycle tyre prevents air from coming outside the tyre. In this video, we're gonna see about Dunlop valve. It's also known as Oats valve or English valve. This kind of valve is mostly used in former English speaking countries, colonies and major parts of Asia. Now let's see about different parts of the Dunlop valve. Dust cap is used for closing the valve and it prevents dust entering inside the valve. Top nut is used to connect the stem and plug together. Plug or pin is a very important part of the valve. The design of the plug we shown has two holes, one at the side and another at the bottom and a ball present inside. The plug or pin is also covered with rubber tube. The rubber tube forms a very important part of the valve. In some cases, if the rubber tube fails, the entire valve fails. The design of the Dunlop valve plug and other parts differs based on manufacturing companies. The reason why we chose this design to explain is, if you can understand this design easily, then you can easily understand other designs. Trim nut attaches stem to the rim. Stem forms the structure of the valve and plug is placed inside the stem. Now let's see how the valve works. Let's look through our x-ray vision. For your easy understanding, the tube covering the plug is also removed so that you can see the process very clearly. Extremely sorry for disturbing you in between, a small promotion for our channel. If you're curious to know how a bicycle pump works, please do watch our previous video. The link is shown on the top of the video and also given in the description box. And also, if you're curious to know what is ball bearing and how nothing in the world rotates without ball bearing, please do watch our previous video. The link is shown on top of the video and also given in the description box. Finally, thank you. Now, let's zoom to see. If you observe carefully, you can see a ball present inside plug. When the bicycle tire is inflated with air, the air inside the bicycle tire itself pulls this ball up and closes the hole through which air can leak. Thus, the air itself prevents itself from escaping. In last video, we have learnt about few properties of air and pressure difference. Here, the air is trying to move from high pressure area to low pressure area, but while doing this, the air itself closes its path. Above the ball, you can see a low pressure and below the ball, high pressure air is trying to escape. This is how a fully inflated bicycle tire looks like. Here we have shown bicycle tire as a spherical ball so that you can easily understand. Imagine the spherical ball as a bicycle tire with plug inside. When bicycle tire is completely inflated with air, the air try to escape the tire through bottom holes of the plug. While doing this, the air particles closes the side holes as well as the ball stops air particles coming from bottom side of the plug. You may ask that why the air particles directly didn't escape through the side holes. The reason for this is the plug is completely covered with rubber tube of high elasticity. This rubber tube prevents the air particles directly leaving through side holes. Since for your easy understanding, here the rubber tube is not shown. When air inside bicycle tire getting reduced due to various factors, you can clearly see the ball inside the plug comes down due to air loss. You may ask that if the ball comes down, then why air present inside the tire immediately didn't escape outside through the hole. It doesn't happen because there will be a tube covering the plug. The tube is actually a main barrier. In some design of the plug, 
Only the tube will be present, no ball will be present inside. Though the rubber tube is not shown here, I hope you would have understood the importance of rubber tube. Even if a small damage occurs in the rubber tube, the entire valve will fail. Actually, I have combined two designs and shown to you here as one design. In some Dunlop's valve, the ball won't be present and in some other Dunlop's valve, the rubber tube won't be present. For your understanding, I made the two combined together and shown you here. Once when we start inflating the bicycle tire with air, the air enters the bicycle tire through side holes by overcoming the elastic pressure of the rubber tube. Since the incoming pressure is more than the elastic pressure of the rubber tube, the air can easily enter through the side holes and the ball is already in the bottom end of the plug. Once the bicycle tire is completely filled with air, the pressure inside the bicycle tire will be more than the incoming pressure from the bicycle pump. The air won't be having any space to move further. So it tries to move from high pressure to low pressure area. While moving from high pressure area to low pressure area, the air particles pulls the balls up and closes the side holes. At this stage, no more air can be pumped inside the tire as it already reached the maximum pressure. The maximum pressure of the bicycle tire varies depending on the type of bicycle and the type of bicycle tire. Not all Dunlop's valve have a bottom hole and a ball inside. Some Dunlop valve doesn't have a bottom hole or ball inside. Let's see how that Dunlop valve works. In this Dunlop valve, the incoming air enters through the rubber tube. Once the air is entering inside the rubber tube, the air pressure on the rubber tube as well as the elastic pressure of the rubber tube itself prevents the air from going outside. In this video, we have seen about Dunlop valve. The other two important valves are Prestor valve and Stator valve. Prestor valve and Dunlop valve is mostly used only in bicycles, but whereas Stator valve is used everywhere from cars, bicycles, lorries, even in airplanes. If you want to know how a Stator valve works, please comment in the comment box. Let's see about a Stator valve later. My heartily thanks to everyone who watched the last part of our video. Let's upgrade our way of learning.